Hey, guess what? It's time for another review. Um, and I've noticed uh, that Popeyes brought back their ghost pepper wings. I like them. Uh, they're not super spicy. At least they weren't last time they were here. But I I like them. So we're, we're going to do the, the Popeyes ghost pepper wings. And I'm I'm 100% ready for this. There we go. You can see them in there, sort of. I was going to turn it around, but then that the lid would block. Yeah, whatever. Um, I mean, wings. I mean, I love wings. These don't. These aren't sauced wings, so you know you could put your own sauce on them. I mean, I actually I haven't tried these yet this this time, but I do suggest having your own sauce maybe. It came with the buttermilk ranch, you know, but you know, I like hot sauce. I, you know, if it's not hot, I don't need the ranch or anything. Um, so I, I left that over away. But hey, they could surprise me this time. I don't think they're going to be that hot, but we're going to go ahead and get into these. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, we're just going to go for it. So, uh, yeah, the breading kind of came off on this one. But that's okay. Here's the ghost pepper wings. Um, that Nothing to it but to do it. Nice and crispy, just like Popeye's usually always is. There's no heat. Well, no, there's a little heat. It's kind of just like their spicy chicken. It doesn't really have a huge kick to it. Uh, they say they marinate their chicken wings in like a ghost pepper sauce for 12 hours. I don't know if that's true, and maybe they do. But to me, it honestly just tastes like their regular spicy chicken. Whatever. Nice moist chicken. Um, obviously, I got the uh, the twelve piece, but yeah, it it doesn't taste any more spicy than their regular spicy chicken. So I don't know what they're calling ghost pepper. Little nugget of chicken there. And if, I mean, I don't remember how long ago it was. It was obviously less than a year. Um, because I've done these already. This is like a second visit. Because I like them. Um, they, I mean, now that I've gone through a couple bites, it, it might have a little more spice than their regular. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that one back. 
Uh, might have a little more spice. Uh, whether it's ghost pepper, you know, you never know. I mean, everybody's got these hot things and they just say, oh, it's ghost pepper. Oh, it's scorpion, you know, or it's reaper, you know, and you never know unless you know, like see it made and stuff. You never know. But it's got a decent amount of heat on it. It's definitely not, you know, scorpion pepper or anything like that. It's not intense. But I can definitely feel the mouth burn. And I'm the more I eat, I'm sure it's just going to get a little bit worse. Or better, depending on how you look at it, I guess. Um, I, I like them. I think they're really good. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm more of a, a flat kind of guy. So, I mean, I've already started that one, but yeah, th this one's a flat. So, you know, it's, we'll get into that one in, in a few minutes, I guess. I like, again, the chicken is moist, not dry at all. I was a little bit worried about it because when I'm in there ordering, they got all the wings in a freaking hotel pan, a two inch hotel pan on the side away from the other chicken. It, did, it was under heat lights, but I mean, who knows how long that chicken's been sitting there. It's the only thing I, I don't like about Popeye's is most of that stuff is pre-made. I I don't know if you can specifically ask them, say, hey, can I get fresh this and yada yada? I don't think you can, but I, I didn't want to cause like a scene or anything, so I didn't even go there. Um, I figured I could reheat them if I got home and they were cold, but they're not bad. I mean, they're definitely still hot. Not steaming hot, but you know, they're still hot. Uh, I had to drive home from there, which was 10 minutes. So it was okay. They're they're definitely not cold. And I do like Popeye's chicken. But I would have to say these are a little bit spicier than the last time. Maybe last time I had a bad batch or something, you know, I don't know. But they're, they're delicious. The bone is purple. Kind of weird, but normal in the same way. Mm. Oops. This would be a good wing to do with a, a wing contest. But yeah, I mean, try out uh, Popeye's ghost pepper wings. They're uh, pretty amazing. The hotter they are, well, temperature wise, the hotter they are, the better. It looks like we got something burnt on that one. I don't know what that is. But yeah. Even if you get a little mutant chicken leg with no like end of the bone. You know, I I I mean I can't say anything really bad about Popeyes. I mean we all know how Popeyes is. But for the most part, I I think they were great. Um yeah, that's a that's a 
Nice, nice box of chicken right there. I'm, I am almost 100% sure that I have already reviewed these. I'm going to go back and look. Um, maybe before I post this, I'm, maybe not. I know I did spicy chicken, but I thought I did the ghost pepper wings. Um, I'll go back and look. It's no big deal. They're still good. You know, I'm, I do think they're hotter this time than they were before. Not by much, not by much, but I've still got a little bit of a mouth burn. Um, if I had to give it a rating, uh, maybe a three, maybe. Between a two and a three. Um, it's not super hot. It's got a nice, a nice tingle. My mouth is a little bit on fire. Uh, for taste, um, I'm going to give them a, a six, six or seven. I like Popeyes more than I do KFC. Um, and I, that's just, uh, I don't know whether that's just because Popeyes is closer. And I happen to go to Popeyes more often than I do KFC. I, I can't say I've had a bad KFC experience. But yet again, I haven't had that many. So, but for, for the end all, uh, they're pretty good. It's about a two heat that'll build the more you eat. Um, flavor is a six. So they're pretty good. If you have not had the Popeye's ghost pepper wings, go ahead and grab yourself six or 12. You can get six or 12. Um, and I believe it works out to like almost a dollar a wing. Yeah. So, uh, have a great day. Uh, like, share, subscribe, um, uh, comment, hit the bell. And I will see you guys. Oh, wait, I wanted to do this. All right. So somebody told me this thing's not that small. Dude, that's small. All right, that that's the size. It's freaking small. Eh, maybe it's not the smallest in the world. Whatever. Doesn't matter. But size comparison. Yeah, there you go. Okay, like, share, all that. Have a great day, folks. I'll talk to you later.